Hi, and welcome to another Sunny Side Design tutorial. We are here in Steph's home. Yep. So you can see we're in our hallway, so we're kind of squished. But I've got from Ellie's bedroom makeover, we have painted her doors navy, hell navy. And I really love it. It makes it just seem that much more rich and kind of high end. So we are going to be painting the doors in All our doors. entire house. It's going to be we're, fabulous. We got a fast way of doing it. We're yes. excited about this. All right, here are all 14, that's a lot of doors, 14 doors. We decided to hang the doors. We're down in my basement and we decided to hang them up so that we could actually do both sides of the door at one time and that would just speed up the process. So I'm gonna show you how we did that. First, we took off all the doorknobs and all the hardware, the hinges, and we taped them off just to prevent too much paint buildup from getting in there so that they would actually hang. Then to hang the doors, we put eye screws in the top of the door and then just hung them from our joists. So if you don't have an unfinished basement to work in, you could do this in your garage, figure out some sort of hanging system. We also labeled the top of the doors so that we knew exactly where they were going to go when they were all painted so we don't have to play a guessing game. To speed up the process, instead of sanding all the doors, because that's dirty and time consuming, we're using this liquid sandpaper. It's just gonna help the new paint bond and not peel off. To do this, we literally just wiped this solution on in a circular motion, and when it was dry, we were ready to paint. We'd like to thank Wagner Spray Tech today for sponsoring our post. They have given us a Flexio 5000 to review, and we cannot wait to use this. It comes in its own little case, so the entire sprayer and everything is in here, this easy to carry handle. It's actually not even that heavy, which surprises me. And then it just houses everything you need. Comes with two different size spray cups. Spray. <laughs> that and nozzles, yeah. Yes, so. so the bigger one would be more for larger projects, wall surfaces. This one would be more for uh, fine detail work with sealers, stains, mm -hmm. things like that. And then over here we've got the hose fits nicely in the case as well. Now we chose the 5000 because it um, can use more of a variety of prod products and um, is more useful for more projects and we you know we love to do lots of projects so you can use this to paint a wall, you can use it to paint your home, a fence, furniture, um, lamps, interior um, and exterior. Yes, it will be great for all kinds of purposes. So we're so excited to give this a try today. As well as stains, yes. sealers. Mm -hmm. Your top coats, all of that can be uh, put on with this little sprayer here. To begin, we have our paint cup, a filter to just make sure that the paint is nice and pure. And then, this is like my favorite part already. They have these little disposable bags so that you can like easily pour your paint back into your paint can when you're done, like squeeze it out so you're not wasting any paint and it will make cleanup that much easier. Also, the intake valve needs to be facing forward if you're spraying straight on or down you'll want to just simply turn it to the back if you're spraying in an upward motion. That will get the paint loaded correctly. We've already stirred our paint. We are using a latex paint. We love Bear. This is their paint and primer in one and it is color matched to Hell Navy. We're just gonna pour it into this filter and let it fill the cup. Now we did not need to um, thin this paint for the particular application that we're doing. 
Um, just depending on what you're doing, you can thin it. A latex paint you would just thin with water. And there are recommendations on the can um, with how much water to add um, for the amount of paint you're using. But for this application, we do not need to. So just another step that makes it easier. All right, we're ready to go. Just show you a couple of parts about the sprayer. Here is the spray nozzle. You'll just make sure that the nozzle is actually in a horizontal position to spray the paint horizontally and then easily turn it to a vertical position when you need to be spraying in a vertical position. This knob on top just shows you the different... How wide the, the spray, spray pattern, pattern is. That's right. You know I struggle with words, people. This is just <laughs> real. And then this here will, depending on what kind of paint you have, for latex it suggests anywhere between 9 and 12. We have it set on a 9. This will, it's the paint flow, how much paint is flowing into the sprayer. And then this last switch back here is the air pressure. And again, we have that adjusted per the manual and the kind of paint we're using. Yeah, for latex paint. Okay, so we're gonna, we've already attached the hose and we're just going to flip it on. You'll notice it's not really on yet, which kind of worried us for a minute. But then you come to your actual paint sprayer and you have to flip it on right here. So it's actually, kind of handy because you can just flip it on and off from right where you're working. All right, we're gonna just show you what it looks like going on. Isn't that slick? It goes on so fast make easy work of painting doors for sure. A couple things to keep in mind while you are spraying, you'll want to overlap your paint just a little bit just so you get a really nice coverage. Um, take your time, go slow, and with this particular sprayer, you actually need to be closer than you may think, six to eight inches, and you really will get a great coverage. And if you're anything like me, I get sucked into watching videos like this, <laughs> um, like on Facebook and different places. It's just kind of satisfying to watch it take place. It's amazing how fast it can get covered, and it really did save us so much time. And this, of course, was just coat number one, and I was so amazed at the coverage. It was covering so well. We just did two coats to make sure that it would hold up well since doors kind of get banged up and used all the time, and it was just incredible how well it covered the first coat. Again, since we hung the doors up, we were able to paint both sides of the door at one time so they could be drying and not have to worry about flipping them over, doing one side at a time. So that really helped speed up the process as well. Um, but if you don't have room for that, just do one side at a time. Just having the sprayer alone is going to speed up the process and it's going to eliminate roller marks or brush strokes. It really gives you a nice professional finish. I also love that you can just plug this in and go to town. You know, most other paint sprayers that we'd ever seen, you need an air compressor, which we do have, but sometimes that just seems like a lot of work to get that out and use it. So this was just really handy. It made it so much easier and the whole um, sprayer itself was really easy to use because it was lightweight. So here is a sneak peek at the doors. This is after one coat has been applied you can already see how smooth the finish is. We do have a couple of thin spots, but again, it's coat number one. But it is just so beautiful. 
here they are in all their glory. Can I tell you how much fun this little spray painter is? One day's of work. Days? Day? <laughs> One day of work and we got all these painted. Two coats, 14 doors. It's amazing. Look how amazing these are. I love that just the simple change of a color makes our home just feel more custom. The color is so rich. I love it. It really brings out the detail more on the doors. And I absolutely love this Wagner sprayer. I have been wanting to do this project for a really long time. And to me, it just seemed like so much work. I really didn't, I wanted to do it, but I was talking myself out of it. But it was so much faster with this. I spent more time taking off the hinges and taking the doors down and hanging them back up than we actually did painting. So it was incredible. Here we are in Steph's bedroom showing this lovely yeah. door. Lighting's a little bit better here than in the hallway. I love how it pops off my white wall and my room is navy and white anyway. So it I looks love great. it. It looks really great. So I just wanted to just throw in my two cents about using that sprayer as well. It saved us so much time. We figured it took us about four minutes to do both sides of the door, but we did do two coats. Yep. So really, time of actual painting was really increased yeah. by... All the prep time was what took time, yeah, but that's did. how it is with any painting job. It, it is, but it did go super fast and we were just really impressed with yeah. the results. So it was we really a fun project for us. 14 doors total in a day both yeah. sides double coats so ready to go that's amazing yeah <laughs> so anyway it was a fun project to do yep and we can't wait to use it on more projects we have you know what we love refurnishing furniture so we're going to be using it on some pieces for that yes, and we're other projects around the house so we can't wait to show you yep so thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not already and make sure to follow us in the links below for all of our social media. And as always here at Sunnyside Design, we hope to bring your home to the sunny side of the street.